Hi folks, welcome back to another vlog and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is all going to be about my reserve. Yes, you've heard it right. I'll take you with me on this one block of reserve, which is pretty much a five day reserve AM. This vlog is going to be a little bit more spontaneous because I really don't know where they're going to be sending me on this block of reserve or if I even ever get a call. Come on. So my call out window starting tomorrow will be 3 o'clock in the morning up until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, and I'm seeing just off my um, device here, I could see some potential flights or pairings that I'm probably going to be assigned to. I've already prepped everything, I've packed pretty much that's good for a five-day pairing but yeah i'm hoping to actually get a call because that just means that if i work a longer pairing i won't be sitting at home much constantly trying to wait for a call which sucks in my opinion i hate waiting so i'd rather get a call and just do a multi-day pairing but yeah so just come with me on my reserve <laughs> Good morning folks! Today is day one of my reserve and as you can probably tell I'm already in my uniform and I'm parked here at the employee parking lot. I actually got a call and I'll be doing a two-day pairing today. So today's duty will just be one leg technically because I'll be deadheading to Calgary first and then we'll be operating a Calgary to Halifax um flight and then from halifax we'll have about a 28 28 no 21 something like that 20 something 20 something hour layover and then day two will be halifax to toronto and then toronto back home to my base here in vancouver just a quick story for you guys at 301 this morning crew scheduling called me and they go hi michelle i am assigning you a five-day pairing blah 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 whatever and then i'm like okay just a sec because i've i've seen all the open time or the open slots if you will uh last night before i went to bed and i remembered i called up yesterday i normally don't do this but i just did um i called up cruised yesterday asking about my seniority kind of wise for all the reserve um people for today and they said that I am the most senior one starting a five-day reserve or a five a block of reserve if you will anyway so when they called me up this morning I'm like okay one second and then <laughs> crew sked just took it back right away and she went oh just give me one sec let me just double check I think I have someone um, on starting a reserve a block of reserve as well who's lower than you in seniority true enough we have that one person whose seniority is lower than i am and i declined the five day obviously because i didn't want to do that that's way too much work and um i think for a five day is just way too exhausting it's pretty much a story i took the two day to halifax instead Finally, that was a bit of a long day actually even though it wasn't too bad. It's currently 8 o'clock here in the evening and I'm just going to have dinner. I had gone to the crew room if you will to um, heat up my food. I'm not planning to do anything tonight. It looks like, well first of all I'm kind of tired. I just want to chill and maybe watch a movie or something like that. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow so... 
I was planning initially to go back to the boardwalk, the harbor, just to walk around, get some fresh air and all that. But if it's gonna rain, then I'm probably not gonna do anything tomorrow. But we'll see. Anyway, that is day one of reserve. <laughs> morning folks as you can probably tell it is raining here in Halifax it's actually really gross it's foggy it's cloudy it's gloomy so there is no way that I'm going out today I'm kind of just slowly prepping to get dressed eat and be ready to go back to work if anything <laughs> had it not been raining i'd probably be walking down the boardwalk by the harbor and all that sometimes there will be those days where you're kind of just lazy to go do anything and i think that's also one of those days for me back here in Vancouver that was actually a really nice two-day pairing for me it is 11 o'clock in the evening here in Vancouver crew sked couldn't call me till 10 38 in the morning tomorrow so at least that way I don't really have to wake up too too early but I'm still hoping they would not call me because honestly I do not want to work tomorrow if anything so fingers crossed it's time to go home and we'll see what happens tomorrow Good morning folks, welcome to day 3 of RAM or Reserve AM. It's almost 10.30 here, I have about 11 minutes before my call out window opens and I'm hoping I wouldn't be getting a call today because honestly I would prefer not working today. Um, but if anything, if Cruzcat calls me up, I'd also rather have an option to either decline or at least you know choose between two three four pairings that are available um but yeah we'll see also i gotta make sure that cruise get is very clear when they call me up because normally they tell you you're gonna be assigned the word assigned means you don't get an option but if they say the word offer then that means you have the option to choose or decline or whatsoever but sometimes Cruise get is really really sneaky and I think this one happened to me before when I was a little bit new So sometimes what they do is they call you up and they say hi Michelle I have a pairing for you so they use the words I have I think I've kind of quickly told you the story yesterday but just to finish it off when they use the words I have it's such a gray area it's so vague that you probably wouldn't be able to tell if it was an assigned pairing or an offered pairing if cruise get calls and uses the words I have always ask if it is an assigned pairing or you get an offered pairing those are two different things and they constantly use the words I have especially towards the new um, flight attendants I guess to be able to just get rid of the pairings easily if that makes any sense but now i know now you know always ask just a quick update here it is 12 41 in the afternoon i just checked um the open time slots for a possible pairing that they could potentially call me for and there's only one pairing left and i don't think it will be given to me just because of time restraints and all that stuff um th they might give it for the afternoon or for the flex reserve which just pretty much means someone who's between uh the a.m and the p.m one um but yeah this is exciting and i don't i hope i don't get a call just having some coffee here i might do some vlog editing just because why not or um keep up with my e-learnings for my annual this year
It's 1.19 in the afternoon and I got a call from Cruise Kid. Apparently I'm the most junior one, so I'll be doing a uh, nasty one day. I say nasty because I'm only doing a Vancouver Calgary leg and then dead heading back. So what a waste of time. But I mean I'm the most junior, so I have to do this. So I'll be back. I'm gonna just quickly get ready for work now. Also, I'm not planning to put a lot of makeup on because for a one hour flight, that is not worth it. back here in Vancouver just a quick recap of what exactly happened basically what ended up happening was crew schedule called me up at 1 12 I believe this afternoon I was actually so excited because I thought I wasn't gonna get a call I was prepping to do some video editing like maybe I just to edit one vlog or perhaps finish some of my e-learning courses because my animal is coming up sometime next month so I was so excited um, I was in front of my laptop and they called me up to send me on a one day pairing or basically a turn so uh, they assigned me a Vancouver Calgary leg and then just dead head home I'd rather be sent on a two day pairing or three day pairing but anyway, that's all that they had. I called up and asked if I was the most junior that's on the list for today. That is a recap and a summary of what exactly happened today. Um, I tried vlogging as best as I can, but obviously um, things got a little bit rushed towards the end of the afternoon when they had called me up. Um, and they also called me at 1.12 for a 3 p.m. check-in, so normally they'd give us two hours and which I had asked so also that's one thing if Prusked, uh calls you a little bit past that two hour mark or the two hour that you need you can still ask hey can I still get my two hours and they'd say yes it all worked perfectly anyway um, the good thing is I am back here in Vancouver they did not extend me so I have two more days of reserve coming up tomorrow and the next day. I'm hoping again either I don't get a call or if I get a call I'd have the option to choose because I would honestly take a two day over another one day tomorrow and the next day. Let's get started and get home. See you guys tomorrow. Hi folks today is day four of RAM Reserve AM as you can probably see by my outfit today I got a call from Cruise Cab to do a two-day pairing, which is good because then it carries over on my last day of reserve, which is tomorrow. So then I don't have to worry about getting getting a call tomorrow anyway because I'm doing a two-day reserve or not a two-day pairing. I mean, I also kind of predicted that I'll be getting this pairing because I'm pretty much the only person on reserve in the morning or reserve AM that has two days left of RAM. But today's day won't be as bad because I'll only be dead heading to Toronto this afternoon and we'll be operating a three leg day, if you will. So I'll be doing Toronto to Vancouver, Vancouver, Calgary, Calgary, Vancouver tomorrow. And that's it for this block of reserve. I'll only be sitting on the passenger seat for four hours and I'm probably gonna take my laptop with me I'm gonna do some vlog editing um, because I think I have been late with uploading some of the videos it's, it's been quite a busy month for me but that is just sort of my update for you guys on day four I'll see you later so normally this is how I style my scarf when I'm deadheading I think this should work
I'm gonna go ahead and quickly take a quick shower. I'm gonna try and upload the vlog tonight and then head straight to bed. Our shuttle pickup will be at 12.30 tomorrow in the afternoon, so it shouldn't be too bad. Again, we're doing three legs tomorrow, Toronto to Vancouver, and then Vancouver, Calgary, Calgary, Vancouver. And that is it for my reserve vlog for this week. <laughs> I have another one coming up, so yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit more effort today and actually wear um, full makeup on, so. Let's get to work. So my pre-flight checks are done and we're just waiting for boarding now. Let's go back to Vancouver and do two more legs and then that's it. We are also on the newer aircraft the newer 737 max so you can see the seatings are really really new <laughs> all right folks i'm finally back in Vancouver, I'm currently here at the employee parking lot, as you can probably tell. Um, so there was some changes in the pairing, actually. So technically, as what I mentioned, I was supposed to do um, a Toronto, Vancouver, Vancouver, Calgary, Calgary, Vancouver uh, day. Basically, a three-leg day. But something happened while we were in Toronto. Basically, our EF or our extra flight attendant um, did not show up for some reason. I hope she is okay though. Um, but basically, we were already kind of delayed. The plane came in from Dublin. There was already a bit of a delay. They had to do the metering thing in Toronto as you probably um, know by now. Toronto's airport is really crazy. Um, so they were only deplaning at least 50 people at a time. So that took some time. They had to groom the aircraft. We had to do our pre-flight checks. We had to brief and then we had to um, board and all that good stuff. Um, but anyway, our fourth flight attendant did not show up or we didn't hear from her anyway. I'm not sure if the person called crew sked, but basically they had to replace our EF and they were able to activate one of the Vancouver based flight attendants who was um, operating a Vancouver to Toronto flight at that time so we were waiting probably around this time we were already like an hour delayed or something like that so we're sitting inside the plane just waiting for some news about what was going to happen and finally they were able to activate one of the flight attendants who was actually going to supposedly have her layover in Toronto but then she ended up coming with us back to Vancouver which to her was okay but anyway everything got shifted around um, long story short they had to pull out both of the legs the Vancouver Calgary Calgary Vancouver flights because we wouldn't be able to make it anyways basically that's exactly what happened so now we are back in Vancouver I'm just getting my car warmed up and I'm heading straight home that is it for my block of reserve and yes i got to operate every single day of my ram which was really tiring but also kind of fun because you know you kind of have these surprises you don't know what's gonna happen and that is just part of work that is just part of this job i hope you guys kind of enjoyed accompanying me on this block of reserve am ram as you will what else do i say before i head home you guys like this video give it a thumbs up like share you know like subscribe turn on the notification bell so you'll get an update as soon as i have uploaded a video blah, blah, blah. see you guys on my next one have a good day bye also guys to the cabin crew members who are watching this video today let me know if you prefer reserve am reserve pm or if you actually like reserve or if you absolutely hate reserve i want to know see you guys next time